We have an update for the upcoming preseason game against the Saints, and it is involving what Kyle Shanahan's plan will be not only for himself, but for the players. Obviously, we know last week uh, against the Titans, he didn't call plays. It was Clay Kubiak who did, did that, and that was the first time Kyle Shanahan did not call plays in any game, preseason, regular or postseason since he took over as head coach for the San Francisco 49ers in 2017. So it'll be Kyle's first game back on the sidelines, calling plays, doing what he normally does, and to accompany him will be the starters as well. So I would imagine that means we'll see Brock Purdy. We already know Christian McCaffrey is shut down for the entire offseason uh, until week one comes around. So for the most part, I do imagine to see the starters on the offensive line. I mean, we did get most of the, we got three, I would say three-fifths of the starters against the Titans. And I'm uh, assuming we'll get most uh, of the others. But take a listen to Kyle Shanahan as he kind of explains his thought processes behind why the starters will play against the Saints and uh, kind of how he's going to manage that situation as he joined Tolbert and Copes on KMBR. Take a listen to what he had to say right here. I know you guys banged the, uh, the joint practice this week out of uh, just sort of precaution in terms of the, the health of the roster. What, what's important for you this week in terms of the, uh, the actual game come Sunday? Um, you know, I, I honestly, I don't think too much about the game until we get these three heavy practices out of the way. And we had a low one yesterday. We just, just got off the field with, um, our highest practice yet this year with, you know, 40 reps for, um, the ones 40 reps for the two. So, uh, it was a grinder out there today. Um, we'll get in here and we'll watch the film really right when I get off with you guys. And then we'll have a big one tomorrow. And after that, we'll evaluate where our guys are. I'd like to get the starters in, in the game just a little bit, not much, but, um, depending on their health and how they feel after these practices i'd like to get most of them in there um you know maybe a series or two i uh, usually we play them more in the third game but i like to at least start it and uh, after that just evaluating giving these guys a chance to make our team where it's all close and we got a bunch of close positions um battling for those last few guys and and also getting guys ready for all the situations that they're going to face on monday night versus the jets you weren't lying last week you, you guys didn't show much at all in your kick coverage <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't think anybody is. <laughs> so it, it's been a little bit different, and it was definitely different to watch um, just sitting there, even from the first one on. It was it was interesting. So our eyes are getting used to seeing it live. It was nice to have a bunch of tape to study from around the league, but, you know, there's not a ton you can get out of it so you have an idea of people's philosophy and what they're going to do. There's so many different directions you can go with it, which um, whatever someone shows there, you know, to me, you can't count on it being that. So you're just yeah. trying to – get the techniques, make it as sound as possible, you know, to avoid the risk of bad plays. And once we can do that as much as possible, then we'll see how we can make a difference or advantage in it. When you mentioned the starters are going to play this week, you said you want to get some of them in. Is that Brock, Debo, Kittle, McCaffrey? Is that everybody for the most part? You want to see them get some reps this week? Yeah, I mean, I haven't told them anything yet, so and I and I will and I will evaluate it after the practice tomorrow. Um, so I won't get into the specific of the guys, but um, I would like to get our starters to drive. You know, so we'll, um, I'm not going to say each person. There'll be a few people based off some situations that we could hold out. Each position's different too. Um, some guys might not be injured, but um, they're not feeling great, and so those are the things that you know. I always talk. I always think for myself. Then I always talk to the position coaches. I don't tell them um, really what I. I think I like to hear what they think without knowing my opinion first. Then we try to see if it matched up once I hear them. And then I always talk to the player too. So there's a, I mean, if it's a guy that's been through it and knows what it takes to get ready for week one. So a lot of factors go into it, but I always think it does help to kind of go through that routine a little bit. Um, but it will be a short week next week. You know, if we had a week in between, that could be different. You know, when you play on Sunday and your next game's on Friday, um, it's not quite a Thursday night turnaround, but it's pretty darn close. So we were actually talking about this earlier today on State of the Franchise with Jason Aponte. He actually made a good point that he's like, I would expect to see the starters against the Saints because they did not participate in joint practices. Joint practices, in my opinion, are way more valuable to the starters than actual preseason games because it's live reps, starters versus starters, opposing teams facing off against each other, and you get two to three practices to be able to do that. And uh, after going to joint practices in the past, 
watching Minnesota Vikings versus 49ers, you can see the benefits that come from it. The The competition is on a higher level. You're hitting guys that aren't your guys. It's just better for not only the starters, but for the backups. So as we know, they canceled that. So this is a bit of a situation to kind of mitigate that. So that's why we will likely see the starters. Typically, Kyle keeps the starters out until the third preseason game where it's like a dress rehearsal. But he wants to get the guys acclimated. So as we know, just a, a bit of a change in the routine based on injuries that have been occurring. And so that has been the early theme of this whole situation. Obviously, no Trent Williams out there. No Brandon Ayuk out there. We'll see uh, if we get your Nick Bosa's, if you get your your prime time, you know, big, big quality guys out there, your stars, uh, but, you know, your Debo Samuels. So it does sound like that that's how they're treating this game, though. It does sound like they're treating this like the, you know, the the dress rehearsal. So I don't know what that will mean for the final week. Um, maybe they're trying to shift it to this particular game then rest the starters for the final preseason game. And then you have a basically like a two week, almost three weeks off as you get ready to ramp up for the regular season. So it does sound like the 49ers are being very intentional with what they're doing and why they're doing it. So I think there's a method behind the madness. I've seen a lot of comments early on the social posts. Uh, that I made of this kind of saying, why would you, why are we doing this? And I do think it's, it's potentially, if it aligns with my thought process of keeping the guys out the third preseason game, it again gives you one week of practice, uh, a week of practice after that, and then uh, game week practice before the guys step out on the field again. So three weeks. Uh, for the starters to not have to put themselves in a game situation until week one. So that could be a, a way to, again, try to let guys rest a little bit as and get healthy uh, before week one starts. It seems like that's Kyle's number one goal right now is getting healthy. So we don't care about the win or the loss in this particular game. We care about individual performances, how they work as a unit, um, and things like that. Those are the types of things we're evaluating. We don't really care if they win or lose. Just make smart plays, uh, do your job, be consistent, things like that. So that's the current update with what is expected for the 49ers coming up with preseason. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think they shouldn't play their starters at all in preseason? Do you think they should play them in both the second or third? What's your kind of take on how you would manage this situation? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.